Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about War Dogs and this movie is directed by Todd Phillips and it came out in 2016 starring Miles Teller, Jonah Hill, Anna de Armas and this was a film that I enjoyed bits of and by that I mean the first half was a bit more enjoyable than the second half. I guess maybe not even that much probably (laughs) the more I think about it like It's a well-shot film with good performances in it, and it's an interesting story, but all in all, it it did uh, just feel like a worse version of The Wolf of Wall Street, and that's a a film that uh, covers a lot over the course of uh, three hours, and that's a film that also does not waste any time, whereas this movie, it's shorter than that. It's only two hours long. The things that are integral to the story to make it interesting are kind of just uh, montaged over and they don't really go into all that much. Like you get tiny little hints of what it was probably like uh, to be in that world, but I just didn't feel like I got much of an experience at all. You just see certain things and that's supposed to be the substance that uh, you're supposed to be uh, granted while watching the movie. But unfortunately, just because you show something doesn't necessarily mean it's developed (laughs) or fleshed out. Like, you have to make it interesting in order for it to work or to have any emotional impact. I really just felt nothing while watching this movie. Like, I was just passively watching scene by scene by scene just go by and I was just like, okay, that happened, next scene, this happened, next scene, this happened. And I was just not attached to anything which is not how I would should be feeling in a movie or at least a movie like this I don't think it's a film that's trying to have some like meta commentary on like feeling nothing in a film or like having like some deeper meaning (laughs) like I don't think it's that deep (laughs) But anyway, so some things that I did feel that were unnecessary in this movie were like just uh, some of the narration didn't need to be there. And also there were some character moments that I found to be kind of forced, like uh, our main character's wife, uh, played by Anna de Armas, uh, like her character was kind of useless and any drama involved with her, I just didn't care about or feel. And the core of the movie was the dynamic between Miles Heller and... uh, Jonah Hill, and although that is uh, the core of the movie and uh, that's pretty much the main focus, I just didn't uh, buy their on-screen uh, chemistry and uh, it just didn't really hit uh, in the ways that I feel as though it was intending. Like, it's... I don't know. I just didn't care. <laughs> also, it didn't really help that... Uh, I didn't find any of the characters to be interesting in the movie. It feels as though that's a huge problem in a movie like this, where it's so focused on our main characters and it's supposed to be, like, based on a true story. Not that that's, like, a huge deal for me, really. Like, this could have been completely fictionalized, and for me, my own personal experience would be no different. In a movie that's really trying to develop this story... The fact that uh, there's no interesting characters or any interesting angle to keep me hooked into this story, I feel is a big problem and is like really missing uh, for me. And everything uh, that is uh, presented as far as the story is concerned is just the most predictable thing in the world. Like uh, you can see everything that's going to happen in this movie within like, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes uh, within the movie. You can pretty much guess where everything is going. Not that movies like that are all bad. It depends on how you execute it. But this movie just uh, had the execution of just any other movie that was just bland and forgettable. And uh, that's pretty much how I felt about everything in this movie. Bland and forgettable. And although I am uh, speaking very negatively about this movie, there were some things that I did like it. And those are the things that I mentioned already. And I thought uh, Miles Teller was good. Uh, Jonah Hill uh, did a great job as well. Like, the acting's pretty good. Bradley Cooper is in it too. And 
it's not the actors who are dragging this movie down, in my opinion. It's just that what they have to work with and the story that they're involved in and just pretty much the writing mostly is what drags this movie down. And I feel as though this movie could have been longer and really a flesh out to this story, like at least half an hour longer to make everything interesting. Because if you don't have an interesting story, then what's the point in making it shorter? <laughs> or at all, really. There were no memorable lines of dialogue or scenes or character moments. It was all very forgettable and I'll never watch this movie again. So skip it if you ever come across it. It's not the most incompetent thing ever. The acting was good. There were some nice shots in this movie. It wasn't terrible to look at. It was technically well made, I guess, but it just wasn't in service of anything that I cared about. So with all that being said, I'm going to give War Dogs a 5 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos. As always, if you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. You thought of War Dogs and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up. And that is going to be for a movie that came out 20 years ago. And I know people have been tearing apart uh, Madam Web and how it's just like an embarrassment over like superhero movies and to just like we've had uh, so many really good superhero movies uh, like over the past uh, 20 years and I'm going to review a superhero movie or at least a comic book movie that I'm pretty sure most people forgot about <laughs> and that is Catwoman. I actually have not seen this movie yet. <laughs> I've heard that it's, for most people, it's a really bad movie, but if you like funny bad movies, then you can check it out. So we'll see what happens with that movie. <laughs> but until I get that up, thank you for watching and have a great day.